Welcome to the Ingle quick install of the Ingle Icebox Conversion Kit. Before we start this video, read the manual and make sure you have all the included parts listed in the manual. Find an appropriate sized area for the compressor unit. This can be up to 9 feet away from your evaporator. This area must be well ventilated. Note where the evaporator hose, power, and temperature sensor cord must enter and exit. With a marker and if necessary, mark where the mouse hole should go for evaporator connections, power, and temperature sensor cord. Also note where you will mount the thermostat control knob. Now pre-drill the four mounting holes, then remove the compressor unit. Use an appropriate sized hole cutter to create a mouse hole. Be sure to keep your work area clean. Reinstall compressor unit. Using appropriate sized screws, cure compressor unit. Feed power cord and thermostat cord through the mouse hole. Open icebox and take note of where you will install your evaporator unit. Take care when handling copper tube. Do not kink when bending. Refer to manual on proper procedure for bending copper tube. Cut a mouse hole for the evaporator tube and temperature control cord. Now feed evaporator copper tube through mouse hole continuing to compressor location. This may be easier with two people. While placing evaporator plate, take note of figure 2 in the manual for correct run direction of copper tube exiting evaporator plate. Again, be sure not to kink tube. Place spacer clips on the back side of the evaporator plate where needed. Pre-drill, then secure plate with provided screws. Use nylon holder to secure evaporator tube and ice box. Evaporator installation in the ice box is now complete. Remove dust caps and plugs if used. Make sure components' synthetic seals are intact. Start with lower coupling connection. Wipe off coupling seals and threaded surfaces. Lubricate rubber seal with a thin coat of oil. Thread coupling halves together by hand and continue threading with two proper size wrenches. This must be done rapidly. Mark coupling with pen, then tighten additional 1 6th to 1 quarter of a turn. Apply soap to couplings to ensure no leaks. Wipe soap off once verified. Lower DC panel. Be sure to use proper gauge wire to a dedicated circuit breaker. On opposite side of the wire, use butt connectors to positive and negative leads from the compressor unit. For AC connections, you may cut AC plug off and wire directly to AC panel, or use provided plug and plug into a normal AC outlet. It is always wise to properly mark all wires for easy identification. In the icebox, plug thermostat control cord into evaporator. Continue to mount temperature control module. Turn on power from the panel and turn on the temperature control dial. After a few minutes, the evaporator plate should feel cold, indicating circulation of refrigerant. Check both AC and DC operation. Finishing procedures. Seal icebox mouse hole. Insulate evaporator tube exiting icebox to compressor unit. For more information, visit www.ingleusa.com.